Before the reign of Obaye Sige in 1504, there was a traditional treatment to Iyoba, the Queen Mother. The killing of the Queen Mother, the reason for this was that the Benins claim that they cannot serve two Obas at the same time. That Iyoba, the Queen Mother, deserves the respect given to her son as an Oba. When it was for Prince Osawi, who later became Oba Esige, to ascend the throne, he refused to submit his mother, Queen Idia, for such treatment. He hid his mother at Hukegi. Not long, the Benins knew about it and a hiding place. They planned to seize her. When Oba Esige learned about it, he quickly moved his mother from Okege to Five Junction at Uselu. At a palace Ubiegua farm at the famous Oro Street today. One young man among the messengers that accompanied the Oba's mother to Oro Farm was asked to stay at the Oro Junction and inform anyone who dare pass through that there was a secret there. Oro River. This was done to keep the secret of where the Oba's mother was eating. Not long, the Benins again learned about it and pressured Oba Esige to submit his mother for the traditional treatment. When the pressure was too much for Oba Esige, the Oba called the elders meeting and told them that if the Benins still insist on having his mother in the traditional way, he too will make a decree that any chief or anyone who is aspiring to become a chief and his mother is still living, they will be treated the same way as the Yoba, the Oba's mother. The elders argued that that was not the tradition in the land in time past. But Oba Esige replied, As the supreme head and custodian of the Benin tradition, I have every right to modify it. After much arguments and deliberations, Oba Esige begged the Benins to allow his mother stay at Uselu without crossing the moat Iyakman at the five junction to the city center. The Benins agreed and she became the first queen mother whose life was spared and she started living at Uselu. When Oba Esige saw that the Benins agreed to his request and pardoned his mother, the Oba was happy with the exclamation, Oye Sunu, meaning it has come to pass. Corrupted today as Uselu, which the area is known today. So the name Uselu is a corrupted word from Oye Sunu.